I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody. So recently YouTube has forced everybody over to the new Creator Studio um, or YouTube Studio. Um, and I can I can definitely say uh, my opinions are probably the same as many of the creators out there on YouTube. The new studio is just absolute garbage. It's awful compared to the old um, creator studio or formerly known as the video manager. See, there for a while you could just uh, you could just click out of it out of the uh, YouTube studio and go back to the classic. There for the longest time it was pretty simple to do, and then YouTube started. Uh, trying their best to force us into the new one and even up through this um, spring they started closing off loopholes and people uh, kept finding new ones including myself to eventually where this summer they close off all the loopholes that would take you back to the old YouTube studio and to put the ice on the cake they also killed off the old uploader which I found to work so much better than the uh, than the new uploader I just have now I, I just have a preference for the old one but the YouTube Studio, there's more than me. It's, in this case, it's more than me just liking what used to work just fine. It, it's the fact that they just messed up so much stuff in this new studio. It's, it's, it's crazy. So I've got some screenshots of the old Creator Studio on this display. And I'll go ahead and share those if I have them available. I want you, I want you to have a look at this. Um, just have a look at how everything <clears throat> simply shows up and is easily legible. That's because I didn't have to scale the uh, the the, the uh, web page sizing down. Yeah, with the new studio, which here's what it looks like um, at 100%. And of course, I had to scale it down to 70% to just for everything to show up on my display. And this is a 1400 by 1050 resolution screen. It's not a uh, wide screen. It's a little wider than a standard 4x3. But apparently, uh, the devs over at YouTube, they're like, oh, everybody nowadays is using uh, is using widescreen. So we'll just we'll just design we'll just spread out everything nice and wide on the new studio. I mean, let's not let's not uh, make good use of a limited space. Let's just spread it way out. And even for those who ha who do have widescreen displays, if you're running anything less than a full HD display, which is 1920 by 1080, you may find that the new YouTube Studio is just kind of crammed. It's uh, well, it doesn't actually cram into your screen, but rather you'll see the the uh, horizontal scroll bar pop up at the bottom of the uh, web page, and you have to scroll back forward, back forth to see everything, or do like I am here with. Um, it's scaled down to 70%. So we're looking at the uh, YouTube Studio for KubeComp MDDX. And I'm going to go ahead um, and publish some videos. I've already uploaded a bunch of stuff, as you may see here. Um, so one of the things I can't stand about the new studio is the fact that you have to click. There's so many things you have to click, 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 click. So let's go ahead and uh, figure out what I, want, what I want to post next. I'm trying to do stuff in order by date. I just did some stuff for June 10th and one video for June 18th. Okay, here's June 19th. So let me see here. I'm going to click Edit Draft. It brings up this right here. And it does look, look like the majority of everything is showing on the uh, camera. So I'm going to go ahead and it says, here's something else before I even start. Why didn't YouTube not fix this with the new studio or the new uploader? So here's the file name, the original file name. You can see all the uh, punctuation and formatting in the title. YouTube just strips it, strips it out of the title, and gives you this crap right here. So I always have to go in and copy all this over. And not to mention, in the new studio, they give you less title, original file name to, uh, to copy. So I always end up having to manually type in some of the formatting that was stripped out for no reason, for for no logical reason at all. 
So let me let me see here. This um, they give you this little bitty screen. They, they well, it's a little bitty because of uh, me having to scale stuff down to seventy percent to get this whole thing to fit on the dang display. See, they give you this little player. And for those who aren't familiar with CubeComp MDDX, this is one of the, uh, this is probably the most comp popular um, video, uh, type of videos on the channel is my weather videos. People love them. And it's just videos of storms. So, let me just go ahead and give this a title. You know what I always do is I copy this, I make a copy of the description and slap it over in Notepad because with my storm videos, I often have up to three or four different um, videos of the same storm. So, okay, so there's the description. Okay, titles taken care of. Now I have to scroll down and click on more options to get to the tags, which used to be in the old Creator Studio, I didn't have to do that. So let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, irre irrelevant tags. And it's crazy, I don't even bother with this on Computer Channel because I have so many tags on my videos there. And I, what I do is I just have YouTube set up to autofill the tags with the tags for all the three of the common types of videos on CubeComp MDDX, and I end up deleting the ones that aren't relevant in the case of this not being an elevator or a bicycling video, I just get rid of those tags. So I have to, I had to click on more options to get this to pop up. Okay, over to monetization. Used to be at one point, you only had to make one click to click to monetize a video. Now you have to make one, two, and three clicks. Used to be you, you click a slider in it and it turned it on. Now I have to click this, click that, and then click done. Now, for the ad suitability, which pops up if you do monetize, you have to scroll down to the bottom. In the case that um, your video uh, meets all these requirements, whereas I believe in the old Creator Studio, it was up top. Next. Okay, if I want to add an end screen, which I always do end screens, I have to go import from video. And it's funny, in the, uh, in the old Creator Studio, the the uh, videos that have not been published did not show here. So uh, now I have to be careful not to accidentally try to select something that doesn't already have an end screen. Otherwise, I get an error message. This video does not have an end screen. Does not have end screens to import. Well, no crap, because I haven't even published it yet. So I, I just go and import the existing one I use. It's the same way I do Cupid Channel. Click save. And over here to visibility, you have to select public, and then publish. And I don't know if it's just me, it seems like I find myself having to double or triple check myself to make sure I didn't miss something. Because it seems like it's so easy to miss stuff in the new studio. Like, um, it could be so easy to accidentally publish a video as private versus public, <laughs> you get what I mean. There's, 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 there's so much ridiculous stuff. All right, let's go move on to another video. Okay, same as before. Make sure that's on my clipboard. Now, I notice that if I click over here to put the cursor at the far left, it's really difficult to get it in just the right spot. That wasn't an issue on the old studio. And now to fix the title that uh, YouTube strip my formatting from. This has been a problem for probably about the past eight years. It's been this has been an ongoing issue for quite some time. And of course they're not interested in fixing it. Just it's just like how Google has no interest in fixing the uh, the twenty nineteen Street View bug, which I'm gonna be doing a video about that here pretty soon. Okay, so there's that. More options. 
delete the irrelevant tags. Okay. And I should mention, all this stuff here is buried behind that more options um, button. Things such as the category and stuff like that. Okay, demonetize again. One, two, three clicks. Add suitability. Scroll down. None of the above for this video. Which is practically the case for all my videos. Add an end screen. Like I say, sometimes I find myself stalling just to make sure I didn't miss something. I don't have cards in my videos. Public. Publish. So yeah. <laughs> the, 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 new, the new studio, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's just garbage. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I've never liked it and I don't think I ever will. So many things were overlooked in the design of the new studio. And they made it, I mean, let alone the layout of studio on a screen like this. But all the clicks you have to make now just to publish a video. It seems like I'm having to do more clicks and go through more different screens than I used to do with the old Studio Classic. It's, it's really annoying. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also don't forget to tick the bell so that we will get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.